welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to share with you my review and my view of one of these. Well, not just one, maybe two. Can you imagine how small these things are? And look, this is a can of Coke and it's like two thirds the size of that. A little fatter, but very beautifully made. When Apple brought out the first HomePod, I wasn't sure if I liked the sound quality. Also, I used to use Spotify at the time, so I didn't see the point of having to play my music from my phone directly to the HomePod instead of streaming it directly to it. Anyhow, this time when they brought out these, I went to the shop and I tried them on. Um, tried them on, they're not clothes, but yeah, I listened to them and the sound quality was not great. It sounded very tinny, very small because the space is really huge in all the Apple stores and obviously this, this tiny device can't produce the sound that's needed. So I thought, okay, I love these colors. I couldn't decide which one to get, so I got one of each. And I thought, let's buy them. And with the Apple money back guarantee, for 14 days, if you don't like the product, you can send it back. So I bought them and two in two different colors because I like both, but they're for my bedroom. And it's because when I'm in my bedroom, I like listening to music when I'm lying in bed, winding down or waking up in the morning. And normally it's a bit of a hassle. because Normally I would have this friendly companion of mine, the BioLit 17 by Bang & Olsen, that used to lie on my bedside table because it has really amazing sound, but it lacks a few features. It cannot stream music directly from the internet because it doesn't have Wi-Fi and it's not connected to any online services. It doesn't have AirPlay, it only has Bluetooth. Even with Bluetooth, it produces amazing sound, but if you're not playing music, it switches off. While these little HomePods, they're connected to the internet and they play music on demand whatever you like without having to basically switch them on and that's a big big plus this thing is 450 pounds whereas the home pod mini is 89 pounds so two of them is what 160 pounds and that's a lot cheaper than having two of these because that would be about 900 pounds to have two of these wow. So I got these two and I thought, okay, I'm gonna try them out at home and see how it goes because to be honest, I was very unsure that these tiny devices could produce good quality sound. But I have to say, I was very impressed. And it's because as I told you in my other video, when I bought this MacBook Pro 14 inch, the sound quality in that device is so good. You can get um, spatial audio, which is um, Dolby Atmos from the laptop. So when it's on my lap and I'm listening to music, it somehow sends the, the sound surrounding me. So based on that, I thought, why not give it a go and try these? Because if Apple have discontinued the HomePod, the big one, and only are focusing on producing these minis, there must be a reason. Of course, the price point is a reason. These are much cheaper, 89 pounds versus I think 260 or 270 pounds for that. But also these ones are connected to the internet, they're connected to Siri, and so I can just control my um, home automation with these as well as check my messages, phone calls, listen to music, everything. I can't unfortunately portray or convey the quality of the sound that these things produce because whatever I put on the YouTube video will just be the sound that comes out of your speakers of the device that you're watching this on. But I can assure you, someone who listens to Bang & Olsen um, sound systems all the time, headphones and everything, I was really, really impressed. They are not designed to produce punchy bass and the loud music, they're supposed to give you the ambient music. And when you turn the volume up, the sound doesn't distort, 
there is sufficient bass for you not to miss the bass guitar and drums but it's not overpowering, overbearing that would go through the walls and somehow well, I don't know what they've done in this but the sound quality is really rich it's very neutral but also very rich so if you're in the market for some little tiny speakers whether you want them to be dotted around the house or you want them to uh, be like on either side of your sofa or your bed yeah these ones go ahead give them a try because I was 95% sure that I was going to send them back and it wouldn't be good but after the first two hours I was like nah I'm keeping them and in all honesty they're much much cheaper than having any other uh, device that could provide this kind of sound and uh, all the internet connectivity and functionality and home automation controls and things like that hopefully this video is of some use and uh, let me know what you think and if you own one of these comment below because I want to know what other people are thinking about these devices thanks for watching until the next one